Hello there, my name is Ismos and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Uh, so this is going to be a quick tip and a very quick tutorial. Uh, so we are going to see how to make uh, your meshes have clean uh, topography or clean uh, quads. So if you look at this text, you see how the mesh looks. It's really a mess. Uh, it's, it's a lot of triangles. And uh, if you look at this, you can see it's a more cleaner version of this uh, with only quads or mostly quads. So and uh, if you try adding any text in Blender, so let's see. Uh, this will work for any text uh, that you want, but uh, I'm just going to use E because it's a bit more complicated and uh, I think it can cover a lot of uh, different letters. Uh, if I just used A, you can see it would be very easy to, uh, to, to turn into a quotes only mesh. So let's see how we can untriangulate this into let me make sure this is an E uh, because it's a more complicated later. So let's see how we can turn this into this. So again, whenever you convert a text into a mesh, it will always come out a uh, triangulated uh, like this. And uh, the easiest way to uh, to do to kind of remove that is uh, you you delete all the edges in the middle here that, that are connecting. Delete edges, uh, delete that and that. So something like that. Then select this part, select from here. I just hold down control and then select the other, uh, the next, the last edge you want to select, uh, to, con to select every edge in between. And then right click, bridge, uh, loops. And now you will see that uh, you s you're getting the same thing. Uh, but now what we can do, undo this and then, uh, because the way the bridge tool works, so let me first show you here. If I add um, a plane, where is it? Rotate it 90 degrees, I scale it down. Uh, the way the bridge tool works is that uh, if I have an edge and an edge, I can select this edge and this and uh, bridge them like that to connect them. But uh, if I have two edges on the other side, and uh, one edge on this side, sorry, bridge, you will see that uh, it will just triangulate uh, this because uh, the edges on this side are not even with the edges on this side. So instead, it will just triangulate uh, them. Otherwise, if, the, if they were even, it bridges them evenly. Uh, let me just extrude this again. So if I select this and this, see how that works. Uh, if I had an extra edge on this side, it triangulates the same instead. So that's what is happening here. So there are more edges on one side of the of the loop other than, the, than on the other. Uh, that's why we are getting triangulations. Uh, so what we do is uh, you, you try deselecting one edge, bridge and see if that uh, reduces it until you, f you find that uh, uh, all the edges you have on the side are even uh, to get uh, that even distribution, that even uh, now you can, uh, we'll come back to this part here because you can see that uh, uh, we are starting to, to have them kind of angled uh, like that. Uh, that, is, that can easily be fixed, uh, but I'll uh, we'll see that in the next, uh, later. So let's first delete this. Uh, this is easy because you can just select the two edges and hit F. Uh, so for this part here, again, select circle select uh, by hitting C on your keyboard. Then we can delete these edges. And then select this this side and this maybe up to there bridge uh, we have an issue and uh, sometimes you can tell you can tell uh, that can you you can see that uh, i think we have more polygons more edges this side than this side so i can try let me see you can either select more edges on this side or deselect more on this side and you can see we have even that out and uh, now it's time to fix uh, this side. So we can connect this directly to this. And uh, we have this problem here. So for this, I can just select this and uh, this edge and hit J to connect those. And then select this and this. I don't know if I can get away with that by removing this edge. Let me first see. Uh, so we have this triangle, so I can just dissolve that edge in between uh, by using Ctrl X and then connect this and uh, then dissolve that 
like that. So if you want, you can remove this edge. Uh, I, it won't make that big of a difference. Uh, but uh, if you want to keep that there, you can keep it there. One triangle is not that bad. Or maybe just select this and this uh, to make that like that. And uh, again, you would have to come in here. Depends how clean you want uh, this to be. So then just remove until you straighten them out to be aligned in the same way uh, they should be. So something like that. Then this should be connected to this, like this. Then uh, this would be connected to this. Like that. And yeah, until that. And uh, I think it will come a point where every, where you have where you will have to just merge at the center like that. And you can see it's not uh, that bad. Uh, so uh, if you have a lot of polygons, uh, like uh, I think we have a lot of polygons here, so I can dissolve them and uh, it won't make that big of a difference. I think I can also dissolve this, Control X. You can see, uh, yeah, so you see, even up here, I think we have a lot of polygons. So I can come in and uh, remove ev every nth edge like that. I think I will leave that and maybe this because these are evenly distributed. If I remove that, okay, maybe that's not mine. And uh, the reason you would want this instead of uh, this is that uh, in cases you want, in case you want to use uh, the subdivision surface like that, uh, if you try this here. Uh, then you would run into a few issues. Uh, so maybe you want to add another a supporting loop here. So if I extruded this, let me make sure that I recalculate no more. Shift N. You can see I can easily add a supporting loop here. Control B. And even a supporting loop around here. And uh, you can also easily have control over uh, the edge flow so you can see that uh, the edge loop is kind of going through going around here and uh, again coming through and creating another uh, loop here that we don't want so you can easily find a way of uh, dealing with that or maybe just select uh, these edges then subdivide now you know if you add a loop here it kind of just goes around in, and it doesn't come back here so then uh, you would I think just uh, do this like this and also close uh, this loop Like so, but uh, if you don't want this triangle, uh, let's first remove uh, this side, this extrusion. And uh, this ring as well. So if you don't want this triangle, you can just select uh, that and control, use the shortcut control shift B to bevel those edges. And you should have that. Now it will also create uh, these extra edge loops. So just dissolve them using Control X. You can see now we have a loop that runs around the letter. Uh, so we have an issue here. It doesn't completely go around. So we can insert this part like that and uh, just merge uh, these loops, these parts here. But uh, we don't want, let's see, let's see also dissolve uh, this edge loop and now we can see that uh, our loop goes around uh, the entire letter and uh, except only if we want to if we add a loop here uh, but uh, then you should not be adding loops in the middle here you should just add them on the edge uh, this loop goes around there and uh, so like that so it would be hard to do something like that here uh, you see we have an issue here uh, where this is just rounding off you just select this slope here be able that to make that sharp if you want to make it extra sharp you add another 
uh, segment by using your middle mouse wheel and we end up with uh, an E like that and then you can extrude it and basically now you have clean only quads in your mesh you can see that's what we have I don't think we have any triangles in here and uh, if they are uh, they should be easily fixed they should you should be able to easily fix them with no issue uh, we have a problem here uh, this is becoming rounded and uh, we are beveling that we create this end gun here and that remove that you just select this edge loop and that and you can see now we have turned that into a cord as well so I think E is the most complicated letter. Let me see if I can find another letter that uh, might be difficult. Just to show you that uh, the same technique can be added. So for the letters here in text are very simple. So let's see A, B, C, D, E, G, H, I. Nothing complicated here. I, J, K, L, M. I think it was the most complicated letter. So if you can do this one, I can do easily all the other ones. Maybe let me try to see. Yeah, so maybe the small letters might be more difficult, but that's the same technique. Even for letter A, you should you could you could use the same technique here. Yeah, so that's how you get cleaner letters in Blender. Thank you for watching.